Let us now study about animal tissues. There are five kinds of animal tissues. The epithelial tissues, the connective tissue, the muscular tissue, blood and nervous tissue. Let us look at each of these kinds in detail. Epithelial tissues is a group of thin wall tissues which have a prominent nucleus and a lot of cytoplasm. There are different kinds of epithelial tissues. The squamous epithelium is made up of thin wall, flattened cells with a prominent nucleus. This is found on the lining of organs like the alveoli of lungs, kidney tubules, blood vessels, etc. Columnar epithelium is a set of cells that are tall and closely arranged. These are found on the walls of the stomach and the intestinal tract. Cuboidal epithelium is a set of cells whose length and height are more or less the same. These are found in kidney tubules, salivary glands, etc. Ciliated epithelium is a set of epithelial cells with fine projections called the cilia. These are found in the respiratory tract, the trachea, and in the oviduct. Glandular epithelium is a set of epithelial tissues that are capable of secreting mucus as well as some enzymes. They are found in glands like the sweat glands, the tear glands, etc. Sensory epithelium is another kind of epithelial tissue which have the special capacity to sense stimuli. They have sensory hairs for this purpose. The second kind of animal tissue is the connective tissue. Now, connective tissues are usually found between organs connecting them and binding them together. There is the general connective tissue. It is also called the areolar connective tissue. The areolar connective tissue consists of a matrix which consists of protein material forming the base. In this protein matrix are the cells and fibers. This connective tissue called the areolar tissue is usually found binding different organs. Sometimes the areolar connective tissue does not have the cells and the <coughs> matrix but instead have a dense collection of fibers. In this case it would be called as a fibrous connective tissue. Adipose tissue is another kind of connective tissue. This also has a protein matrix, the fibers, but it also contains special cells called the adipose cells which are capable of storing fat granules. Now adipose tissue is usually found in the subcutaneous region just below the skin and sometimes between organs. Cartilage is another kind of connective tissue. Cartilage is also called as gristle. Now in a cartilaginous tissue, there is a protein matrix which appears bluish and in the matrix are the cells called the chondrocytes. Now the cartilage is usually found in places which require toughness and elasticity. The ear lobes, the tip of the nose, the rings on the respiratory tube are all made of cartilage. Bone is another kind of connective tissue. This is a specialized kind of connective tissue which consists of the bone cells arranged in concentric circles around a space called the Haversian canal and the matrix here also contains deposits of a mineral usually made of calcium and phosphorus salts. 
bone is the part of the endoskeleton of all vertebrates. One other kind of animal tissue is the muscle tissue. There are three kinds of muscle tissues. The striated or the striped muscle fiber, the smooth or the non-striated muscle fiber and the cardiac muscle fiber. Striated muscles are also called voluntary muscles. These are found attached to the bones and respond to voluntary thinking. Striated muscle fibers are long, cylindrical and show a number of cross striations. There are several nuclei in each muscle fiber. Smooth muscle fiber or non-striated muscle fiber is also called involuntary muscle fiber. This is found inside various organs of the intestinal tract and the urinary system where involuntary action is required. These fibers are unicellular with a central spherical nucleus and each fiber is spindle shaped or tapering at both ends. Cardiac muscle is a special muscle that is found only in the heart. It consists of a number of cylindrical fibers that are also interconnected. They also show striations like the striped muscles. They also have prominent nuclei. They are involuntary in nature. The special nature of cardiac muscle is that it is capable of rhythmic contraction. Nervous tissue is the next kind of animal tissue. The cells that make up the nervous tissue are called neurons. Nervous tissue is found in the brain, the spinal cord and the nerve fibers. Each neuron consists of two distinct parts the cyton or the head of the cell and the axon or the tail of the cell. The cyton has a prominent nucleus, a number of granules in the cytoplasm and a number of branches. These branches are called dendrons or dendrites. The axon or the tail of the neuron sometimes has a protein covering around it. This protein covering is called myelin sheath. The last kind of animal tissue is the blood. Blood is also called fluid connective tissue or sometimes vascular connective tissue. Blood is made up of two components. The liquid component of blood is called plasma and there are the cells or the corpuscles that make up the other part of the blood. Now the cells or corpuscles are of three kinds. The erythrocytes or the red blood cells, the leukocytes or the white blood cells and thrombocytes or the blood platelets. Erythrocytes are usually circular or oblong or disc shaped with a concave portion in the middle. Leukocytes are of two different kinds. They are the granulocytes which have granules in them and the agranulocytes which have a clear cytoplasm. Blood platelets are tiny fragments which are formed from mother cells called megakaryocytes.